<laughs> We're all through for a Thursday morning. We're glad you joined us. Actor Richard Crenna is this morning's guest on Mike Sinto Live. That's next. We bid farewell as two fine feathered friends frolic in a fit of spring fever. <laughs> a fine day to you too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> DC Beach Party with the Beach Boys Saturday at eight. Now, live from the studios of 1290 WHIO, your chance to take part in the Miami Valley's only midday radio talk forum. 1290 WHIO and Television 7 proudly present this simulcast segment of the Mike Sinto Show. A uh, former crew member on our television crew just asked you uh, one of my questions. So he, I liked working with him, too. Well, yes, uh, he yeah, was a nice guy. He was a nice guy. So long. Bye. <laughs> will, will there be a Rambo 4, Dick? Yes, there will. Okay. Is it uh, yeah. in the work shed? Are they... It's they're, they're working on a script at the moment, as I understand, and uh, it was planned while we were doing three, and it will be done. We'll probably start shooting it sometime next year. Uh, the National Coalition on Television Violence uh, counts the episodes of, or the, the number of uh, violent acts in uh, Rambo's one, two, and three, and it's something like 473 violent acts, or probably it averages 573. Like, yeah. How do you feel about that? Well, I, you know, I, I take exception to, to their position only, and not, not in terms of the violent acts, because it, it's violent action. But they have singled out, I think, Rambo, uh, as opposed to uh, jumping on Chuck Norris and Ar uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. uh, whose films are infinitely more violent. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at, the, at, you talk about violence, yes, but in, in Rambo, you don't see blood. You don't see arms and legs torn off. You don't see bleeding. You don't see wounds. You see. I, I, think, I never thought about it. But exception you don't. Yeah. in 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 one. There's a scene where where Rambo sews up an arm, his yeah. own his own arm, incidentally. Mm -hmm. um, there's a scene in in two where uh, a Viet Cong is blown up, but he just disintegrates. You don't yeah. see blood. You don't see um, you know decapitation. All that. You go to any Arnold Schwarzenegger movie and count the blood. There was more blood shed by Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. and his death in The Untouchables than in all 473 episodes of violence in the Rambo films. And also, there's something else about Rambo. I don't know why I'm on a soapbox about mm, Rambo, but I get okay. kind of steamed about this yeah. once in a while because I think they pick on Sly. I really do. I think that, uh, I think he takes a lot of the heat. They call senseless violence uh, in the papers. The journalists call it Ramboism, mm -hmm. where in effect, Rambo is the guy. In, in Los Angeles, there was a guy riding around shooting people, um, you know, random, randomly shooting people in automobiles, and they call him the Rambo killer. Well, in the fact, uh, it, it, Rambo would be the guy that would be in the car chasing, chasing the, guy the guy that was shooting the people in the cars. Yeah. So it's become, uh, the, the word has been become misused, I think, in terms of its, of its use as a, as a vernacular word. Colonel, I have to ask you something. I mean, it's, uh, Rambo is so good at what he does, we normally think of one's mentor or trainer as being better than him. I assume the character was better than, than he was as no a Green question, No question yeah. about it. And actually, if I took off this sweater, Mike, you, I would, can, see, I can imagine, you yeah. would see a body that would put... <laughs> <laughs> you would put Sly and Arnold to shame. Now, you said that, that Sylvester Stallone gets angry with you because you put the, the beret on and, and don't perspire. Well, I tell him, I bet, you know, he's walking around in a tank top and I'm wearing the green beret and the, and the, and the full uniform. And um, he's, he gets mad because I don't perspire. And I, I, I've explained to him time and again, <laughs> colonels don't sweat. It's just a green beret colonel does not perspire. I'm oh. sorry. You've done it all, written, directed, you've, uh, you've been in radio, you've transferred from radio to television with, uh, with Armis Brooks, uh, The Real McCoys, uh, television movies, uh, you know, box office smashes. Uh, you've had fun. I mean, it, it, which, which part do you like I've, best? I've had a lot of fun. Um, I like the vacations. Do you? You like in between. <laughs> no, I, I enjoy working. I really do. I enjoy working a, a, a lot. Uh, it's, it's a... I think any actor enjoys working with good people, and it's been my privilege through the years to work with some really outstanding actors and actresses, and, and uh, I've had a very nice run. I'm, I'm very privileged. What would you change? What would you do differently? I don't think I'd change much of anything. Uh, I, I, think that, um, I think that I've had the best of all possible worlds. Uh, okay. You know, it, you, you always aspire to a kind of, I mean, I'd like to be called Bing, and everybody knows who I am, or Bob, or, you yeah. know, I mean, but um, um, that comes to very few people. There are a few, ver there are very, very few real stars in our business. There are momentary celebrities. As Andy Warhol said, everybody's a celebrity for 30 seconds, and I think that's true in our business. Do you become a star when Barbara Walters interviews you? 
<laughs> what? Okay, let, so you feel good. What kind of tree are you, Dick? What kind of a tree? <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of Barbara's favorite questions. What kind what of kind tree? What kind of a tree am I? I'm yeah. not sure. I'm 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 probably a, a pine tree or something because I. Uh, maybe a uh, yeah, but a nice maybe a ponderosa with an okay. osprey nest on my head or something. Okay, like that. I'd, I'd like that. If you'd like to talk to Dick Crenna or our ponderosa pine, we're going to show you how you can do it as the Mike Sinto Show continues on 1290 WHIO Radio and Television Seven. You can take part in the Mike Sinto Show by calling four five seven twelve ninety or toll free anywhere in Ohio. 1-800-345-1290.